I guess uh, the character itself would have size, but size with speed. So I'd want uh, you know, defensive skills like being able to be one place here and then literally on the other side of the map. I, I don't like the poke game, so I'd want like a serious ultimate. What would I say at the end of my uh, finishing move? Would you really think you had a shot? You know I'm old, right? That I can remember would be, I am Rick A. Fox 17. No, Shaween, sorry, I remember. My son and I came up with it. I think if you don't have an understanding or an education or a background of being a gamer, or, uh, then educate yourself. Uh, and before you uh, shun or impose your idea of what you think someone else should be doing, check yourself. Esports has been ex extremely uh, fulfilling. Gives me all of the things that I had as a player in our locker room, on our buses, in our, in our competition on game day. I get all those things I had. Well, the Fox aspect of it was an attempt at pulling from, was really recommended by Riot at the time. But I had a ton of other ideas as well. And then uh, they told me I had five days to the side. <laughs> and it literally it came down to the wire where we had to turn in a logo and an actual completed uh, decision on that. And Echo Fox won out. My advice would be that they really understand that this is you know, the early adopters, the early entrants, uh, the early owners and players are really building the foundation of what will be years to come. And this is a business that you get into because you competition, you love you love video games, you love sport. And so think of it as a long-term beyond just a financial investment. For me, League, that's probably the most mechanically challenged I've been and the most frustrated I've been. When you asked the question, the first place my mind went was, well, I'd like to try my survival skills out in H1Z1 in real in the real world. If you know anything about the game, only one person survives. But if, if it's in a Groundhog Day type of fashion, that'd be fun. If I change the past, does it affect where I am today? I, I kind of like where I'm at. Yeah, I kind of like where I'm at today. So yeah, I guess if I had to pick one, I'd want to see into the future. What inspires me, my kids inspire me, the Echo Fox. Uh, family inspires me watching these kids be, you know, the first in their generation of really actually, you know, leading the way of what is possible. I come from an era where you went to the bowling alley and they had arcade games there and you either chose to bowl with your money or you chose to play video games. My dad would give me $20 and drop me off. Well, I'd bowl one game so I could say I bowled and then I would go and play video games. Do you have any unusual talent that not many people know about? I'm a ping pong god. How does it feel to be the third best ping pong player at Nickelbox? I'm not even going to dignify that question because I know where that question came from. I will only say that anytime, any place, anywhere. I'm, uh, I've been playing a lot of H1Z1, a lot of hours in the league. Um, so that's kind of would say where I'm playing all my time right now. The, the Argentine Tangle was the hardest. I really thought that was the one I probably was most proud of. I think what esports orgs may be able to to add to their uh, business models when it comes to traditional sports would just simply be uh, continued growth in the infrastructure and the bridge they build between their fan base and their, their players. You know, the difference in a professional athlete is one that can handle not only the in-game expectations, but also the out-of-game expectations, which is the media, which is, you know, the fans dealing with the press uh, and the pressure, uh, dealing with teammates, handling your responsibilities, dealing with your sponsors. You know, all those things are what make you a professional, not just a pro. <laughs> uh, there's a ton of them. Uh, Mike Tyson punch out, the Galaga, any of the midway games, you know. Can you touch your nose with your elbow? <laughs> well, look, was that a low, who, where'd you get that question from? Because do you, that sounds like you guys know I can't even touch my shoulder with my hands. <laughs> I can't. That's from years of professional sports. Like everyone's at home doing that right now, right? I can't do it. Uh, I'll do Jace Hall. Let me think of a Jace Hall. It would be a Jace Hall. Oh, <laughs> Sword of the Kings of Dawn of Time. That's all he does. He walks around the office all the time. Have you ever seen it? So it's from Monty Python. I got a rookie um, story as an owner, not an NBA player, but an, an eSport owner. Did you guys know that Froggen was the Grinch? Froggen. <laughs> ruined my Christmas in 2015. He told me he was gonna tell me whether or not he was gonna sign with Echo Fox on Christmas Eve. I woke up with an Echo Fox stocking full of coal. Okay. Froggen didn't tell me till December 29th. <laughs> 
Frog is a Grinch. 